la madre. Miss Hannah, you're the first one to say something. Good morning. Hello, Miss Kelsey. Oh, look at everybody's names. What a blessing that is. Oh, it's just fresh every time. <laughs> Man, look at your names. Oh, can't tell you again what it does for me to see your names. Good morning, big country. Morning, Brother Sweetman, the blues man's on. Brother Ty, Miss Renee McClung, Miss Kathy Lopez, Miss Addie Hart, happy birthday to you. Brooke Gross, oh, good morning. Miss Teresa Ledsom, Brother Rudy Lopez, Miss Barbara Clopton. God bless all of you, Brother Roy Reeves. It's such a blessing to see y'all. Big Jeff McDonald, hallelujah. Brother Randy Gross, sir. Oh, Miss Shirley McIntyre. My lovely Sam is tuned in. Miss Jamie Barnum in the house. Hallelujah. Braxton Cannon, all right. My lovely Miss Joe is with us. Brother Jeff Ledsom, all right. Miss Shayla Hill. Coach Christmas, God bless every one of you. Miss Laura Christmas, what a blessing. Miss Jojo Beans, Brother Josh, my, my wonderful son-in-law, Jason Hill, Bonnie Adams, Miss Elizabeth Flood. Oh, Lord, thank you for your people. Miss Zoe, God bless you. Brother Bob James, sir. Miss Heather Norway. So good to see your names. We'll just let people get on and, and we're just going to have a great time in the spirit and in the word today. We love all of you too. We love the family. Miss Wendy Ann Stewart. God bless you, ma'am. Miss Sarah LaQuay. Nice to see you. Miss Robin Dennison. Good morning to all of you. We're so blessed that just we can come together and see each other's face and see your names and just gather in one mind, one spirit, one accord. We're so thankful for all of you. <laughs> Hugs to everybody, yes. God bless everybody. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good morning, Miss Momo. It is a blessing. It is a blessing for sure. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you're on, let somebody know you're on. It just blesses us to see your name come up. Brother Tommy Story's on. Miss Elisa Rowland, the one and only, tuned in. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Irene Denton, oh, what a precious one. Miss Brenda Holland, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Yes, it is. Miss Connie, Heath and Haley Henry. Miss Easy, God bless you. What a blessing to see all of your names. We're missing each other too, big country. Oh, Stephen Crystal Sharp. That's wonderful. God bless every one of you. I speak grace and peace to every one of us in the name of Jesus grace and mercy and peace be unto you. My sister Wendy headed back from Surfside. All right. Michael Burnett. 
God bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I speak grace and peace and mercy be upon every one of us today. Let's just begin to praise him wherever you are as we get started. Let's just begin to praise him. Big Lewis Rodriguez in the house. Miss Shelby Taylor, hallelujah. Let's just begin to praise him. Wherever you're at, begin to just voice your praise to him. Say it because you believe it in your heart. Don't go by how you feel. I know a lot of people are battling, but we're battling together, hallelujah. And we're gonna come through it together. We went into it together, and we're gonna come out of it together. That's a fact, Jack, based on his word, he always gives us the victory. He causes us to triumph. Thanks be unto God who gives us the victory. Thanks be unto God who always gives us the victory. Father, we give you the praise right now. We turn our praise on. We put on the high praise. With the high praise of God in my mouth, and a two-edged sword in my hand. Hallelujah. We give him praise and glory. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory right now that you have already given us the victory. You've given us the victory. We lift up holy hands. Being a sanctuary of God, we are the temple of the living God and the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ his anointing lives within us. I've got the life of God in me. His life, his nature, and his ability. We've got the life of God in us. And we give you the praise and we give you the glory today, Lord Jesus. That you give us the victory. In Christ, we have the victory. So, Father, we ask today in Jesus' name for just an outbreak of the anointing of God. Just pay back on the devil and all of his works. We give you the praise. We know it's your will. We ask today, Father, that the gifts of the Spirit would flow unhindered and unchecked. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, and especially the gifts of healings. The working of miracles. The working of dunamis power. That it would flow, Lord Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit today, all of us together. We thank you for the name of Jesus. We thank you for the cross of Calvary that is speaking on our behalf today, a finished work and a finished redemption. And Father, even though our bodies are waiting to be redeemed, you said in your word in Romans 8, 10, 8, 11, that if the same life that raised up Christ from the dead lives in us, it will make alive our mortal bodies. So, Father, we receive new life in our mortal bodies together. We come into a spirit of agreement and we receive new life. We receive the anointing of God. We can do all things through the anointing who gives us our strength. We believe for fevers to break in the name of Jesus. Just like when Jesus walked up on Peter's mother-in-law and took her by the hand and rebuked the fever and fever left her. We believe for fevers to break in the name of Jesus. We believe for signs and symptoms to break of sickness and disease. And we believe for signs and symptoms of healing virtue to flow and to come forth. We are believing and expecting and the cry of my heart is for an outbreak of the anointing, an outbreak of the anointing, a pent up stream impelled by the Spirit of God that the breakthrough anointing would purge the people of God, that the breakthrough anointing would impel them like a pent up river. We're believing for an outbreak of the anointing of God, an outbreak of the presence of God. In his presence is fullness of joy. We receive the resurrection life that lives on the inside of us, that 
birthed us again, made us new, makes us whole. He touched me and I am whole. We give you the praise today, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise. We thank you that you spilled your blood on Calvary's cross for us over 2,000 years ago and that it is a past tense reality. We say it because we believe it in our heart. And we give you the glory and we give you the praise this day, Holy Father. We thank you for an outbreak of the anointing of God, an absolute outbreak, an absolute purging of the anointing of God, healing remedy. Your word is life to those who find it, and we've found it. And it is medicine to all our flesh. It is the antidote for all sickness, all disease. We thank you, Father, that heaven's pharmacy didn't shut down when COVID-19 came about. And we receive heaven's remedy, the healing anointing of God, the healing name of Jesus, the healing spirit of God, the healing anointing. We thank you, Lord. We agree today on the virtue of Jesus. We agree today on the power of God, the word of God, the name of God. We thank you that Jehovah Rapha is our healer. And Father, we ask you for an outbreak of the anointing of God. We ask you for an outbreak of the anointing. We ask you for an outbreak of the anointing. We ask you for an outbreak of the anointing of God today. We thank you, Lord. We ask you for the flow of the gifts of the Spirit. One touch from Jesus changes everything. When Jesus steps in the room, everything changes. Every knee bows. Every symptom bows. Everything says, yes, Lord. Everything changes when the anointing of God shows up. It is the difference maker. Hallelujah. Woo, somebody. We ask for an outbreak of the power of our God. Let me read you a scripture before we get started. We haven't got started yet. Don't, hold, don't dock my time yet. We haven't gotten started yet. Everything bows at the name of Jesus, saints. Everything bows. And in our hearts, we bow now and we confess that Jesus is Lord. His Lordship, it reigns over Heartland Church. And by faith, we, re we loose the Lordship of Jesus over Brownwood City and this county. In the name of Jesus, we pray the name of Jesus, the peace of God be upon every person from leadership to the, to, 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 to the, to the, to the lowest of lows, to the man sitting begging by the dumpster. We speak the name of Jesus over every person. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we hold no ought in our heart toward anybody so that the faith and the love of God might flow like a pent up stream in Jesus' name. We speak grace and mercy and peace upon every individual in this county limits in Jesus' name. We speak the name of Jesus in the faith of God, the love of God, the peace of God, the joy of God and the hope we have in Christ over our school systems in Jesus' name. We hold up every school district in the name of Jesus in this county, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord, everything bows at the name of Jesus. Everything bows at the name of Jesus. Father, we call upon the name today. We call upon the name. And whosoever shall call upon that name shall not be made ashamed. We call on the name. We call on the name. The name of Jesus. There's just something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like a fragrance after the rain. 
Kings and kingdoms will all pass away, but there's something about that name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Go ye in that name. We loose the name of Jesus this day as a body. We loose the name of Jesus right now. We call on it and we loose it. And by faith together, every one of us, we bind what has been bound in heaven. There is no sickness nor disease in heaven. And so, Father, over this company and by faith over this city, we bind COVID-19 over this city. We stand against you in Jesus' name. We restrain you in Jesus' name. We resist you in our faith in God. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. Leave us. Leave us in Jesus' name. Leave and go in Jesus' name. Go in the name of Jesus. All sickness and disease over the body of Christ. Leave and depart and go. We stand against you in the name of Jesus. We come at you in the name of our God. Hallelujah. We give you the glory and we give you the praise, Lord Jesus. 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 We thank you. Let me try to read this now before we get started. We hadn't gotten started yet. <clears throat> Nehemiah 8.10, listen. For this day is holy unto the Lord. <laughs> Woo, that's good. I like to feel the joy of the Lord. Feels good to feel the joy of the Lord. Something happens when we gather together. Oh, what joy we have to have a company of believers. One mind, one faith, one baptism, one Lord, one peace, one resurrection, one Jesus, and one true and living God. A body, a family that comes together in faith in his name. Listen, for this day is holy unto our Lord. This day is set apart unto the Lord. This day is set apart unto our Lord. And don't be sorry. This is what he said in Nehemiah 8.10. This day is set apart unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry. Don't be sorry. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. That word is in dunamo in the New Testament. The joy of the Lord is our in dunamo. I can do all things through Christ too. In dunamo strengthens me. So the anointing and joy do have a connection. I can do all things through the anointing which strengthens me. Nehemiah 8.10, for this day is holy unto our Lord. This day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorrowful, for the joy of the Lord. We're talking about the joy that comes from God. <laughs> We're talking about God's joy, his literal joy, the joy of God. The joy of the Lord is, the joy of the Lord is your endunamo. It is the empowerment. Hallelujah. It is our strength. Oh, we refuse to give up our joy. Even though you may be hurting in your body, we understand. Trust me, we get it. But the joy of the Lord is in your inner man. It's not in your body. It's in your spirit man. It's in the inward man. The hidden man of the heart, First Peter tells us. The joy of God. It's in the same place that Sozo lives. Healing, salvation, deliverance is in your spirit. Preservation is in your spirit. Prosperity and all that that word means is in your spirit. 
In the name of Jesus, we have joy. The joy of the Lord is our indunamo. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We could say, I, I can do all things through Christ who gives me joy. I can do all things through Christ who gives me joy. I can do all things through Christ who gives me peace. I can do all things through Christ who heals me. I can do all things through Christ who makes my hands fit for war. I can do all things through Christ who is my joy. I can do all things through Christ who is my peace. 1 Corinthians 1.30 you are born of God and Christ has been made unto you wisdom, righteousness, peace, sanctification. I can do all things through Christ who is my reconciliation. I can do all things through Christ who is my joy. I can do all things through Christ who is my redemption. <laughs> he is my redemption. Not only do we have redemption, the Redeemer lives on the inside of us. Hallelujah. The Redeemer lives on the inside of us. The Redeemer and His total redemption lives on the inside of us. Philippians 2, it is God who is at work in you, working in you that which is well-pleasing in His sight. It is God who is at work in you. God is at work inside of you. He's on the inside. His finished work takes up his testimony on the inside of you. 1 Corinthians 1, 6 says, the testimony of Jesus is confirmed in you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today for confirmation of the testimony of Jesus. We thank you that today his testimony, his victory will be confirmed in our lives. We hold to that. We agree on that, that this day, the testimony of Jesus is confirmed in our bodies in Jesus' name. We thank you and we believe for confirmation Good reports, testimonies, hallelujah, the money that comes out of the test. <laughs> Thank you for the money today, hallelujah. We thank you for the money that comes out of the test, Lord, the testimony. I'm going to read that scripture. That just seems real good to me and the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 1, 6. Listen to it. Listen to it. Right here. Right there. Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Thank God for confirmation. Thank God for confirmation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My goodness. Right quick, let's, let's insert this right quick. Hopefully all of you, hopefully all of them are on here. Miss Addie Hart, happy birthday to you today. I was looking at my calendar. Happy birthday to you, Miss Addie Hart. Tomorrow, happy birthday to my queen. We'll get through all this and then we'll do something fun. Caden Cole on the 27th has a birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Miss Jeannie Davis on the 28th. Happy birthday to you, sweet ma'am. Miss Jamie Barnum on the 29th. Happy birthday to you too, ma'am. And Miss Norma Modling on the 29th, happy birthday to you, ma'am. God bless all of you. Happy birthday. Blessed birthday. Joyful birthday. Happy birthday. We declare that it's going to be a great year for us. The rest of this year is going to be knockout for us. We're coming out of this on the increase. You're coming out of it on the increase. We rattled the heavenlies. Hallelujah. 
we're called to it. We went into this together, we're coming out of it together. We went in together and we'll come out together. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is strong and he wants you strong. Yes, he does. We are strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Isn't it something, y'all, that God never told us in our own strength to be strong. He told us to be strong in the Lord. And we are strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. That's right, Miss Sarah. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Do, 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 do. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We're coming out stronger. All right. If you want to, uh, if, if it's time for you to tithe or give offering, somebody can help me post a link on there. You can give on the online app. If you have that app on your phone, it is way, way simple. Uh, that's how Jody and I tithe and give and put in the building fund. We do everything through that app. And it's such a, it's, it's a real blessing. It's really handy. It's, it's real quick. It's real, real, real secure. It's the most secure uh, system that you can get. Uh, Miss Elisa did tons of background work behind the scenes to uh, get us involved with that app. It's super secure. So, or you can bring it by the church mailbox if you'd like. Put it in that big black heavy-duty steel mailbox. But thank God for the tithe. Thank God for the tithe. Thank God for our we, we, we demonstrating one avenue of our love to God. And so uh, I want you to know we've uh, been a blessing to a lot of people during this. The church family has. Uh, anybody that's called has received help. And so we're doing all that we can do in the natural and we're doing all we can do in the spiritual. And so I want you to know you are not alone. Don't you dare ever, ever, ever let the devil tell you you're alone. You're not alone in this. You've been prayed over most of the day, every day, and covered. And, and, and our, our faith umbrella is over you in the name of Jesus. We're declaring his lordship over you, lifting you up before God. There's those links on there right now. You can go, go to those and, and uh, you, can, you can give to God. And we're so grateful for everybody's faithfulness to the Lord. Thank God we can be faithful. I'm thankful that Jody and I can be faithful through the tithe. So we're just grateful for it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. So that's birthdays. And there's the links you can give by. I want to... I want to share some things with you that's been on my heart for the last couple days. Psalm 119 verse 130 says this. I want to say a few things today about the God of the breakthrough. The God of the breakthrough. The God of the breakthrough. Listen to Psalm 119 130 right quick please and then we'll get in some scriptures and believe it'll build you up. Listen to this. Psalm 119, 130. The entrance of your words give light and it gives understanding. Listen again. The entrance of your words give light and it gives understanding to the simple. When light comes, faith is there. When light comes, Faith is there. The entrance of your words give light. The entrance of his word gives light. Not just the word gives light. The entrance of it gives light. When the word of God truly enters your inner man, your heart, 
it brings light, which is revelation, which could be interpreted truth. When the word of God enters your spirit man, that's when you have now heard it. Faith comes when you hear the word. That's not what these two paddles on the side of our head. It's an inner ear. It's an inner man thing. It's hearing from your spirit man. The inner man is the heart of man. So the entrance of your words give light. Again, the entrance of his words give light. So when light comes, faith is there. Romans 10, 17 would say it this way, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. So again, when light comes, faith is there. Well, I want us to get some entrance of the words on the subject this morning for a little bit on the God of the breakthrough. Let's look at Isaiah 59 right quick together. Isaiah 59 19. I want to pull this scripture and use it as a principle. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Isaiah 59, 19. If you have your Bible, you can turn there. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm, just, I'm pulling a principle here. It says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Now there's a lot of prophetic in this whole chapter, but I'm using I want to use that scripture as a principle. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. When I read the word standard there, the first thing comes to my mind is when the children of Israel had been bitten by serpents and the Lord told Moses, he said, raise a standard, a pole, and put a, a brass serpent on top of it. Brass is, is prophetically a symbol of judgment. So he said, Put a pole, a standard is what it was called, and put a brass serpent, come on now, on top of it. And when the children of Israel behold, not just glance at, they behold that standard and that brass serpent on top of it, they shall be healed. Now listen, brass is a picture of judgment. The standard is a picture of the cross. When we read of, read of the standard, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Our standard that we behold and that by faith as a restraining force in a believing church the standard that we behold is the cross of Calvary and Jesus judged, judgment, judged for our sin, sickness, and eternal separation from God. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God lifts up a standard against the enemy. Okay. As the seated church in place of authority in Christ, what would that standard be? Because listen, we lift it up by faith, but we know that the spirit of God is the one doing all the works. I can't move a mountain. I say the words, he moves the mountain. Come on. Faith in God moves the mountain. God's the, the mountain mover though, okay? So when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against the enemy. As the believing church, what is our standard? It is the cross and Jesus judged for our sin, sickness, 
and eternal separation from God and faith in it. So, we behold the finished work of Jesus Christ this day. That is our standard that we hold to. Are you with me somebody yet? So when the enemy shall come in like a flood, we, the believing church, the body of Christ, we hold up the finished work of the cross and Jesus, the fulfillment of the picture of the brazen serpent that was judged for us. He was judged for our sin. He was judged for our sickness. He was judged for our disease. By his stripes we are healed. You remember the other night when I read them translations to you, 1 Peter 2.24? By whose stripes you are healed, 20th century Bible. His bruising was your healing, Philip's Bible. It was the suffering that he bore which has healed you, Cotton Patch Bible. At his flogging you were cured, Street Letters Bible. Every one of his hurts meant healing for us. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, the body of Christ, we lift up the standard in faith against it, which is the cross is the standard and Jesus is the fulfillment of the brazen serpent representing judgment. Jesus was judged for us. He was judged for our healing. He was judged for our, listen, eternal security. Jesus is my faith in his finished work is my eternal security. Hallelujah. I can't lose it. I'd have to forsake it, which would come through denouncing that he is the son of God and that he came in the flesh. Outside of that, I cannot lose my eternal security. No way, biblically, no way. Because Jesus is my eternal security. Hallelujah. Now I'm thankful today to be eternally secure. Glory to God. Man, I'm hollering on this thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to wet my pipes just for a second. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, look at this. So he's the standard. Judged for us. Philippians 1, 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Philippians 1, 19 and 20. Paul said these words and I've been, this has been my prayer and my con one of my prayers but a main thrust of my confession over this house <clears throat> since Monday F Philippians 1 19 and 20 for I know that this shall turn to our deliverance and our salvation through our prayers and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ according to my earnest expectation and hope. We're believing for that. <clears throat> that this is going to turn. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's going to keep turning. We're getting good reports and we give God, Jody just, every time we get a good report, I mean a 10% better report. We cry literally and we give God praise and we hold that name before the Lord. We know that this is turning on our behalf and there is salvation and deliverance in this according to all of our prayers and the supply of the Spirit. The two always go hand in hand. You don't have a supply of the Spirit without prayers, uh, plural. <clears throat> Many times it comes through continued prayer, intercessory prayer, supplication, fervent, heartfelt prayer, but they always go hand in hand. I know that this will turn. Say turn. This is turning in Jesus' name. This is on the turn. Hallelujah. This is on the turn. This is turning 
All things are working together for our good. It's working together. Everything in the ingredients may not be good, but bless God, they will work for our good. This will, this will bring a furtherance of the gospel. You watch. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, this is going to bring about a furtherance of the gospel. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I know, he says, I know that this will turn to our deliverance through our prayers and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus. The supply of the Spirit of Jesus. Listen to 2 Corinthians 1, 10 and 11. Listen to this right quick. 2 Corinthians 1, 10 and 11. Paul said, he delivered us from so great a death and he does deliver. In whom we trust, he will yet deliver us. You also helping together by prayer. There's prayer again and a supply and a deliverance of the Spirit. Listen again. God delivered us, past tense. He does deliver, present tense. And we trust he will yet deliver us future tense. He did, he does, and he will. And we praise you, Father, that you are our deliverer. You delivered, you do deliver, and you will deliver. And we thank you that you're the God who delivers. We're talking about the God of the breakthrough just for a few minutes this morning. And he says, you also helping together by prayer for us. So there again, there is prayer in connection with the delivering hand of God. Prayer and real deliverance go hand in hand. All right. Let's listen here now. And again, we're believing God and praying for just an absolute outbreak of the anointing. An outbreak of the power of God. An outbreak of healing. Listen, there's, I can't say that online. Anyway, an outbreak of the anointing of God, an outbreak of it, a breakout of the anointing, a breakout of healing, a breakout of healing, a breakout of healing. The Bible says, tells us that when John the Baptist was put in prison and then had his head cut off and it is important that we remember Acts. The book of Acts tells us that John finished his course. The devil didn't take him before his course was done. It tells us John finished, finished, finished his course. And John knew that. That's why he said, now I must decrease so that he can increase. My work's done. He's the forerunner. He's the friend of the bridegroom. So, but if you'll study the gospels after that happened, it tells us that Jesus went in and he went on an absolute outbreak of healing people. And when you study those Greek words, and Rick Renner, who is a bona fide uh, Greek scholar, those words are, 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 are verbs that, that represent retaliation. I mean, Jesus got back at the devil when John the Baptist lost his head, Jesus went on a rampage of healing. And that's what I'm believing God for. I'm talking about a flat out outbreak, breakout of healing, breakout of miracles, breakout of breakthrough, an absolute breakthrough outbreak. I mean, I mean, possessed with breakthrough. That's what we're believing God for. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> Can you say amen to that? Ah, hallelujah. An outbreak of breakthrough. I mean, just broke out in breakthrough. We're believing that. We're believing for every person in this company and every person that will receive it to, I mean, have a breakout of breakthrough. I mean supernatural goodness, the goodness of God. The Bible says the goodness of God would overtake us 
And the Hebrew word overtakes means to run up behind you, come up beside you, grab you by the seat of the pants and carry you off. Hallelujah. Overtaken. Father, we thank you for a breakthrough. You're the God of the breakthrough. Listen to me right quick. Isaiah 10, 27 says, In that day the burden will be removed and the yoke will be destroyed and it will be destroyed because of the anointing. So the anointing of God, the presence of God, that is the burden remover and the yoke destroyer. And the Word and the Spirit always work hand in hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Acts 10, 38 says how God, listen, anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. So again, how did he do it? By the anointing. What's the anointing? The, pr the power of God, the burden remover, the yoke destroyer. The anointing of God. The anointing of God. Luke 4, 18, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, set at liberty them that are bruised, heal the brokenhearted, all, all that. It was the anointing that empowered him to do it. The anointing empowered him to do it. That's why we gather like this. When we're not gathering in person, we gather like this. And man, I believe anointing flows. I sense anointing. I sense flow. I believe you can sense the presence of God, the word of God, the power of God. It'll grow in greater measures as we stay with it and press into it. Listen to this. I want to read you something in line with this prayers and the supply of the Spirit. Listen to Acts chapter 12, please. Remember we're talking about the God of the breakthrough, and he said, I know that this will turn because of the prayers, our prayers, and the supply of the Spirit. Prayers and the supply of the Spirit. You don't have to type it, but say that out loud. Prayers and the supply of the Spirit is what we're looking at. The God of the breakthrough. Acts chapter 12 uh, says, Now about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church, and he killed James the brother of John with the sword, and because he saw it please the Jews, he went about to take Peter also. <clears throat> so he took Peter, put him in prison, and Peter was delivered to four four uh, uh, groups of soldiers to guard him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people and kill him. Now listen to this. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer, say prayer, just say it out loud. You don't have to type it, but just say prayer. Prayer was made without ceasing by the church unto God for him. Listen to that again. Peter was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing by the church unto God for him. So this was focused effort, focused hearts, focused praying. There is a type of prayer that you don't quit praying until you see breakthrough. What we're praying now is not just the prayer of faith where you believe in your heart, you receive it, and you shall have it. This is more of an earnestness of intercessory prayer. This is supplication in prayer. This is a, this is a corporate effort we've entered into. This is everybody praying for breakthrough. This is everybody acting as the restrainer. This is everybody saying the same thing, believing the same thing. Everybody joined together, marching together to the same cadence. Hallelujah. Everybody. You see what I'm saying? Everybody. One mind, one mouth, one heart, one voice, one accord. Speaking against this thing in the name of Jesus. This is intercessory prayer. We enter seed. We enter seed. All together, standing against this thing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so again, 
12, 5, Acts 12, 5. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. But prayer, say prayer, 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 prayer was made without ceasing by the church unto God for him. We lift our voice unto God. Yeah, remember that in Acts chapter 4, verse 20. 23 where they're being persecuted and you get to Acts 4 29 and now Lord behold these threats and grant unto us that with all boldness we may speak your word how by stretching forth your hand to heal and that signs and wonders would be done by the name of your holy child Jesus we're believing God for the hand of God to be outstretched and I mean just a plague of miracles in Jesus' name, a plague of healing virtue. I mean an absolute breakout of breakthrough, breakthroughs that you've been believing and believing. I mean as payback to the devil for this thing, that the God of the breakthrough, he goes to and fro showing himself strong on the behalf of them that believe God. We believe God. Our eyes are on God. Yeah, listen to this scripture. 2 Chronicles 20, verse 9. 2 Chronicles 20, verse 9. Listen to this. <clears throat> if when evil comes upon us. I like this verse. Listen to this right here. If when evil comes upon us as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in your presence, for your name is in this house, and we cry unto you in our affliction. In our affliction, we cry unto God. In our affliction. When persecution and affliction come for the word's sake, Mark chapter 4 tells us, in our affliction, in it, we cry unto our God and you will hear us and you will help us. God is our help. Hebrews 4, 16, let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and access grace to help in time of need. There's help again. You will hear us and you will help us. He hears and he helps. He hears the cry of the righteous and he helps. Jesus said, I'm sending back the comforter. One of those words for paraclete or paracletos is the helper. He's our helper. He's our help in time of need. Psalms tells us we serve a God that is a great help in the time of need. Help, help. He's our help. We're looking to the helper. We're calling on the helper. He's our help in our affliction. We cry unto our God, and he is our help in the time of need. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're our help. Man, I got to calm down. I'm hollering. He's our help. He does. He hears and he helps. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, listen to this. We're talking about the God of the breakthrough. God of the breakthrough. Listen to Daniel chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. When you're praying and it looks like you're going downhill and getting defeated, I want to remind you of something. I remind me of this. Brother Hagin, many years ago, ministered a message, what to do when faith seems weak and victory lost. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. The Imperials said it, when you're up against a struggle that shatters all your dreams and your hopes have been cruelly crushed by Satan's manifested schemes. Remember that? And you feel the urge within you to submit to earthly fears. Don't let the faith you're standing in seem to disappear. Praise the Lord. He can work through those who praise and praise the Lord. 
For our God inhabits praise, praise the Lord. For the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you they fall powerless behind you when you praise Him. Woo wee, that's a good one. Doesn't the second verse say something like, Now Satan is a liar and he wants to make us think that we are paupers when he knows himself. We're children of the king. So lift up the mighty shield of faith. There's the standard. Lift up the mighty shield of faith. For the battle must be won. We know that Jesus Christ is risen. So the work's already done. Praise the Lord. He can work through those who praise Him. Praise the Lord. For our God inhabits praise. Praise the Lord. For the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you they fall powerless behind you when you praise Him. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Man, oh man. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. He didn't teach us to swim to let us drown. He didn't build his home in us to move away. And he didn't lift us up to let us down. (laughs) Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. How'd that verse go something like, uh, There are some promises in a letter Written a long, long time ago They're not getting older, they're getting better Cause he still wants us to know He didn't bring us this far to leave us He didn't teach us to swim to let us drown He didn't build his home in us to move away And he didn't lift us up to let us down Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, we're coming out of this stronger and on the increase. We always have. God's always faithful. It can't hail long. Hard rain don't last, church. Hard rain don't last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-mm-mm. We're coming out, coming out. Listen to Daniel chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. I want to re- remind you of this. If you've been standing and standing and boy, the symptoms get worse and you're standing, you're standing, you're declaring and it seems like victory's, victory's going downhill. You just listen here, saints. You listen. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel. (laughs) Fear not. Fear not, Harlan. Fear not. We get through it together. You might have to lay down. You might have to doctor your wounds. That's why we do fire watch like we did in the United States Marine Corps, man. You lay down and get some rest and we'll stand guard and watch fire watch. (laughs) Locked and loaded and watching. Bible tells us watch and pray. Be fervent in our prayer. Always on the alert in prayer for the children of God. And then listen to us. When it's our turn to lay down and get rest, it's your turn to stand and watch guard duty now. Fire watch. That's what we're doing during this. Everybody say fire watch. What do you mean? I mean watch and pray. You're holding up the banner. You're declaring the standard when others are resting or maybe licking their wounds or or laying down too, too sick to declare. You can be in so much pain you can't declare. Hallelujah. That's when the other people stand up and they do fire watch. And then when it's their turn to lay down and get rest, it's our turn to do fire watch. We're on this wall together. Fire watch. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's what you do in the military. 
<clears throat> then he said unto me, fear not, Daniel, fear not. For from the, now I know we can quote this, but listen to it real good, church. Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that you did set your heart to understand and to chasten yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come for your words. Glory to God. I've come for your words. Now, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia, that's a ruling demonic spirit, withstood me 21 days. But Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help. There's help again. Grace to help. It can be manifested in lots of different ways, lots of different forms. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now go on down to verse 18. Then there came again and touched me one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me. And he said, O oh, man greatly beloved, Daniel, fear not. Peace be unto you. Be strong. Yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Hallelujah. He's our strength. Fear not, Hartland, for from the first day we began to come against this thing, God heard us. God heard us. He hears the cry of the righteous. There's no such thing as God not hearing <clears throat> any prayer in line with his word. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says, this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything in line with his word, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know we have the petitions we've desired of him. We have it. We have the victory. Sometimes victory is progressively. Sometimes it's one step at a time. But victory always comes. <clears throat> to those who will stand on his word, stay with his word, stay with his spirit, stay in love, stay in faith, and not let the devil rob you of your joy. Hold on to your joy. That's the strength. Hallelujah. We shout with a voice of triumph. Yes, he strengthens us, children of God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. People still out there with me? Are we all still hooked together? We're all marching together still, right? Just put a, I mean, just overload it with thumbs up and hearts if you can. I'm looking, I'm looking for some kind of response. Oh, there, there's a couple. There's some. Yeah. All right. I see you now. Whoo-wee. Look here. We're all together. All right. <clears throat> now, let's look at another scripture. <clears throat> Ephesians 6, 18, please. One of the best prayer scriptures you can ever go to. Ephesians 6.18. Ephesians 6.18. Praying always <clears throat> with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Now, listen to me. The Greek text literally says praying always with all prayer and supplication being led by the spirit so sometimes that's in an unknown tongue and sometimes it's like what we've done here just praying by the spirit led by the spirit but in our own known tongue <clears throat> being led by the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplicating for all saints so, so there is a time to, to persevere for others in prayer. Persevering for the saints in prayer. It's a prayer that you persevere in. You don't just, Father, I thank you and I believe I receive like the prayer of faith. And that's a scriptural prayer. And it's a, for when you're praying for you, it's most of the time that's the rules to that prayer. But this, what we're doing now, we're persevering in prayer. We're, we're in battle, you see what I'm saying? And we're getting good testimonies, and we've let you know about a lot of those. And we, get lot, we got more testimonies yesterday of people saying, I have absolutely no symptoms, and I'm only a man, and I'm better, and we thank God for that. But this is a prayer where we persevere in prayer together. Prayer is carrying out the will of God in this earth. Prayer is also a lifestyle with God. 
Prayer is an ongoing communication with God. Prayer is being led by the Spirit of God all throughout the day. Prayer is, is just 20, it, it, it's, it's, it's every wake, waking moment attuned and alert in your spirit man, being sensitive to the Spirit of God. Prayer is being led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. <clears throat> so we're in persevering in prayer in this with all perseverance for the saints. Now, I want to read you, I want to read you something I'm talking about the God of the breakthrough here. Listen, this is, this is another crux scripture of what we're believing in God and standing, standing on. Listen to this. Micah chapter 2, verse 13. The breaker is come up before them. One of the names of our God is the breaker. He's the God of the breakthrough, man. The breaker is come up before them. They have broken out and have passed through the gate and they have gone out and their king shall pass before them and the Lord as their head. The Amplified Bible says the breaker and he will put the enemy to flight. Now listen to this again. The breaker is come up before them. One of the names of our savior is the breaker. We're believing God for an absolute breakthrough in this. We're going to see the breakthrough. I'll, I'm going to see a victory. We're going to see a breakthrough. We're going to see a breakthrough. We're seeing the, the beginnings of it. But I'm telling you what, we're believing it's going to come out like a pent up flood, man. I mean a big dam that breaks and just overload this thing with breakthrough and victory. There you go. There it is. Yes. Yes. Pass through the gate and go out. Yes. We serve the breaker, the God of the breakthrough. The God of the breakthrough. Listen to this. That's right quick. Isaiah 63, verse 8. Listen to this. Are you getting anything this morning, anybody? It encourages me to know you're getting fed, getting anybody, getting anything. All right. Hallelujah. Miss Robin, good. All right. What says Miss Barbara? All right. It's important. That's, that's the whole goal of this is to build you up, edify you, charge your inner man, provoke you unto a good work, remind you of what God has said what God said he would do for us. All right. Let Brother Hayden is on. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All right. Listen here. Isaiah 63, verse 8 and 9. Listen to me, church. For he said, surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. He was their savior. In all of their affliction, in all of their affliction, he was afflicted. Oh, isn't that wonderful? We're not in this alone. You remember when God came down to Moses and he said, I have heard the cry of my people. And I am come down to deliver them. Isn't that wonderful? That's the God we serve. Remember that? He said, I have heard the cry of my people and I have come down to deliver them. Let's just all take just a few seconds here and let's just worship him that he has sent Jesus and Jesus has delivered us. Let's worship him. Everybody, wherever you're at, just begin to worship him. All together, corporately, begin to worship him. Father, we worship you that you are the God of the breakthrough. We worship you.
We worship you because you are our God of the breakthrough. We lift up Jesus all over this town. People, we're all scattered, but we're won by the Spirit, and we lift up the Lordship of Jesus. We worship you. We worship you and we praise you right now, Father. The God of the, of the break, breakthrough. We worship the God of the breakthrough. We worship Him. We worship you right now. We exalt the name of Jesus. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee, O Lord. The God of the breakthrough. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We press into your presence, Lord. We press into your presence, Lord. We press into your presence, Lord Jesus, right now. We press into the presence of God all together. We press into the presence of God. You're the God of the breakthrough. You're our God. You're our deliverer. You're our Savior. You're our teacher and our guide. You're our eternal judge and you've judged us righteous and holy and set apart in Christ Jesus. Father, we worship you right now. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we love you. Holy Spirit, our ears are attuned to you. Thank you for your healing touch. Thank you for your healing touch. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overwhelmed by your presence, Lord. Well, all those words we've been ministering are in that one little chorus, aren't they? Whew. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, you are welcome in this place. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overwhelmed by your presence, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your power and your presence. You sent your word and you healed them. It's one of our benefits. You daily load us with benefits. You heal 
all sickness and all disease. The word of God fights its own fight. We hold to your word. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for confirming your word with signs and wonders following. That the standard, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God lifts up a standard against him and that standard that we the prevailing church lift up is the standard the cross of Jesus Christ and the picture fulfilled the brazen serpent representing judgment when they beheld that serpent they were healed Jesus was judged for our sin our sickness and our eternal security the holy precious presence of God today right now we receive we receive sing it with me everybody breathe on me mm. breathe on me holy ghost shower breathe on me what do you say Yesterday's gone, today I'm in need, Holy Ghost shower, mm, breathe on me, breathe on me, everybody say breathe on me, Holy Ghost shower, breathe on me. Yesterday, yesterday's gone. Oh, today I'm in need. Oh, Holy Ghost shower, breathe on me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We believe God to breathe on the body of Christ by his word, by his spirit. <coughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Then sings my soul. I'm a Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, <clears throat> my Savior God to thee. 
How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ah, hallelujah. I believe in a man in the sky. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Mm. Nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus oh precious is that flow that makes me white as snow no other fount I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Mm. Yeah. What did he say? When you walk through the fire, you'll never be alone. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Walk on through the fire. Walk on with a song in your heart. And your head held high, for you're never alone, never alone. Hallelujah, good to have a song in your heart, man. That's part of where joy comes from. Joy comes from the reservoir of your heart, hallelujah. He's with us in the midst of the Red Sea. He's with us, glory to God. We're walking over on dry land and we're going to come out of this thing. You won't even smell smoke on our clothing. Hallelujah. Mm. I believe in a man in the sky. I believe. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, uh, oh, you're precious, Aiden. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. There is a good, tender, sweet, encouraging spirit in there, Brother Bob. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stay with me. I'm looking up something just for a minute. I found him. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind Walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. 
No, you'll never walk alone. Walk on. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Glory to God. Boy, Elvis gospel is just good music for a day like today. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's been such a blessing to come with you today, everybody, to come together, <clears throat> join in agreement today. I pray you've received something today. Just wanted to encourage you, see your names. Yeah. Let's put a song on if you can today. Put a song on. Let's put some praise music on today. Put some put praise music on that moves your spirit, you know. I like black gospel. I like the Imperials. I, I like Elvis gospel. I might just put on Elvis gospel today. I might watch an Elvis movie with Jody. Make ourselves focus on something else. <laughs> sometimes you, and, and all of you understand, sometimes when you fight and fight and you're standing and you're standing, sometimes it's good now just rest in the Lord. Put on a John Wayne movie. It's Sunday. Put on Elvis movie. Put on something that, that you don't have to think and figure out and work the brain. See what I'm saying? Put on something that, that's just going to feed you. You know. Put on something you don't have to exercise your brain and figure out. Put on something that's just fun. It feeds your spirit. Makes you rest. Let's do that today. Let's put on some good gospel music of some kind. Put on some praise later that moves your spirit. Again, I like black gospel. I like Fred Hammond. I like stuff like that. I like the Imperials. I like Elvis gospel. But I especially like black gospel, what's called black gospel. I like it. It moves my spirit. Let's watch an Elvis movie. Let's watch a John Wayne movie. Let's do something that just puts our mind at rest now. We've fed our spirit. We've warred in the spirit in praise. I believe we've, 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 came into agreement. I love Clint Brown. Clint Brown moves me. He gets me a little weepy. I have to listen to Brother Clint when I want to really get weepy. I love singing his music more than anything. But I really, really uh, just want us to do something today that just relaxes your brain. That's important. Do something that relaxes the mind. Put on, put on something that relaxes you. I might see if Jody will watch an Elvis movie with me. G.I. Blues. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That'd be fun. Watch an Elvis movie and eat some lunch and let's do something that just relaxes our our our, our brain and the physical body. So I love you all so much and I'm so grateful. Oh, very important, this announcement right here. That may be backwards, I don't know. We are going to do one more Wednesday and one more Sunday by way of online. It may look a little different than this. I don't know. My, my, my main focus is that everybody gets to feeling better, get, get, gets over all of this, and we are in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. We went into this together. We came out of one of the most powerful events I've ever been a part of. Um, uh, the youth camp. So we came into this together. And we're fighting it together. We're enduring together. Uh, and we're going to come out of it together. And we're going to regather together. So right now, like Acts 27, they were all swimming on planks of the board. And they said, the ones of you that can swim, jump overboard and start swimming for shore. The ones of them that couldn't swim, they had to get pieces of the boat, pieces of floating material and float and kick. But... but but they're all headed for the same destination, and that is the shore. So whether you can swim or not, just get to the shore. Float on whatever you have to. Float on the Word of God. Float on the prayers of others. Just stay hooked. Stay together. Once we all get to shore, so to say, we'll remuster 
and we'll begin moving forward. But at this point, we're going to do another Wednesday and another Sunday, which will be uh, the 28th, no, 26th, 26th and the 30th. So this coming Wednesday will be online and, and, uh, Yeah, so this coming Wednesday and this coming Sunday, next Sunday, will be online also. I don't want to, I can't gather a few that feel good knowing that there's others that are not gathered that are at home in quarantine and, and fighting and just can't do that. The Christ in me is too loyal. So I can't do that. So we're, we all came into this together. We're fighting it together. We endure together. We'll come out of it together. Then we'll remuster the troops together and we'll move on and increase. Okay? So again, this Wednesday and the next Sunday will be online also. It may look a little different, but it will be online. We won't gather corporately. We're going to get everybody over the hump and we're, going, we're coming back like the 300 hollering this is Sparta <laughs> but we're gonna we came in it together we endure together we come out together we fight together we run together we walk together we climb together all right we leave no man behind not ever intentionally ever we walk together we climb together we march together we enter in together so we came into this together we came through that powerful Weekend together, we entered this together, we entered this war together, we're fighting together. I know I've said it, but just forgive me, I'm, I'm, I just, I love that kind of talk. We fight together, and we're going to come out of this together, then we're going to mu muster the troops together, and we'll regather together, and we'll go on and increase in power together. I sure love you with everything that I am, with my whole heart. Jody does too, and you know that. Pastor Ken, Miss Dawn, they do. And, and uh, Jody's at home helping feed the comments and answering texts and emails and handling so much of the, the motherly business side of things, and I'm just grateful for her. Grateful for you. Thank you for tuning in today. God bless you. We'll be keeping you posted, and uh, we'll gather online again Wednesday tonight. I may get online just to encourage you. Never can tell. I just get to missing you. I love you. We're going to eat some kind of lunch and uh, watch an Elvis movie, maybe. Love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.